Oh yes, I think um, you just give me another first class seat for three B. You said it doesn't matter. Yeah, but we're going to be standing on a million lines if we don't stand. Ah! Come on, Steve. I can't hear. Come on. Ah! We're in London. <laughs> he throws Here's the board. map. He throws oh. the Where was it? Hello, people. I cannot hear a damn thing. Am I not loud? Steve, Steve, where's Nick? I, I oh, see the yeah, right. some commentary. Right. Oh, some commentary for this one. Like? <laughs> I'm running commentary. Yeah. Oh, commentary, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, commentary. Oh, no, this is always <laughs> my, my We don't know accent. English. I am sorry. <laughs> they, they've seen me already. You don't want to come through with the like commentary. Get out of here. This is Tracy, 25 past 6 in the morning. Tracy, shall I do my Marilyn bit, then? Yes, yes, yes. yes. No. <laughs> it's my Get pal. You. Oh, oh. Hello, <laughs> everyone. We're here in London. We're missing that part crew. Hello, it's very hot in here. We don't have much air conditioning, but we have plenty of bed space. As you can see, I got the top bunk and the bottom bunk. Steve? Hello, everyone. Where's that? Where's John? John is in the uh... John's in the loo. In the loo. He's in the loo. John's in the loo. And Andy and Jerry are in the other room. Andrew and Jerry are in the other room. Oh boy. It's very hard. We've done a lot of walking. We'll go out for mind uh, bitter. And we uh, probably did enough uh, weight training for the day carrying our, our bags. Mind bitter. <laughs> Not because they're too heavy. Yeah. So, so far, uh, I can't really make a judgment yet because we were up to 25 straight hours. Thank you. 
57 and a half feet I'm not high, any pictures standing in Trafalgar Square, used as a place of meeting for political go. demonstrations and fear, famous for his sympathetic representation of animals. On your right, Admiralty Arch leads to the mayor and Buckingham. It is known as the Square Mile. It is the area on your right and it's where all the wheeling and dealing in London goes on. The City of London stands on the remains of the ancient Roman city called Londinium. In contrast on your left, at the very top, as you can see. You can climb up there, if you're feeling fit, take the vitamin pills first. <laughs> now we're going to drive you onto London Bridge, which is right ahead of us. London Bridge is falling to the most famous site in the city of London. You'll see a little silver river, like the one on the Temple Bar in, in a summer. In Victorian times, this was an extremely disreputable part of London, where no one sensible would come alone at night. All London London, which is now on your right, this is the world's first medieval hollow over Tower Bridge oh, in just a moment. Excellent. On your left is the site of St. Olaf's School, where John Harvard was educated. He went to the United States of America and became linked with Harvard Library and also Harvard College. Oh, excellent. Now we're driving you over Tower Bridge. This bridge is constructed with twin lifting drawbridges and they can be raised to allow tall ships to pass under the bridge. You can take an elevator to the topmost point on the bridge, and this will allow you to see out over London a fine view. You can also take a boat downstream from here to Greenwich, where you'll see the Greenwich Observatory. And you can also see a wonderful exhibition yeah. which is on at the moment on the life of King Henry VIII. Greenwich is a surprising little village. It's full of interesting little alleyways and unexpected pubs and restaurants. And it's a very good place to go if you like a market. Up there's the World Trade Center. It's a little shorter though. On your left side now is the Tower of London, which has had a very varied history. <laughs> Among other things, it has been a place of royal execution, a royal mint, a prison, and even a royal zoo. There is still a lion tower where the wild animals were once kept. If you go to the Tower of London, you're sure to want to see the crown jewels. They are utterly priceless and they're looked after by the Yeoman warders or beef eaters who wear Tudor uniforms. See the crowds waiting to go into the tower? Well, if you want to go to the tower, get there early and avoid the crowds. I mean, really early. The Yeoman warders live in apartments in the tower itself, so it's not just their workplace, it's their home as well, and they will be very proud indeed to show you around free of charge. Here at Londinium, there it is on my right. See how thick that wall is, and reflect that was built by the Romans, it survived the century. On your left, you will observe that the moat at the Tower of London has been drained. It was once full of ice cold water. But it was an excellent deterrent to people wanting to attack the Tower of London. But the moat was drained in the time of the Duke of Wellington. You saw his house 
and actually housed, do you remember? On the corner of Hyde Park Corner. The founder of Pennsylvania, who was a Quaker, was buried, oh, sorry, he was baptized, and John Quincy Adams, sixth president of the United States of America, was married in the church on your left. Peeps, the English Bowers, sat in the tower of that church to watch the film. That, that is where Dick Whittington is buried. He was four times Lord Mayor of London. He was a great public benefactor in the city. And Dick Whittington has won himself a place in the hearts and folklore of all true Londoners. Scotland Yard. On oh, your left in her chariot is Queen Bodicea. As we pass by, you'll see that there are knives on her chariot wheels. Now that is how to get through London's traffic. Fester. He married his wife Clementine at St. Margaret's Church, Westminster, which is the parish church of the House of Commons. It is the church now on your left with a blue sundial on the front of the tower. Next to the church on your left is Westminster Abbey, where the Queen was crowned, where the Queen and Prince Philip were married, and their son Prince Andrew married Sarah Ferguson at Westminster Abbey on your left. If you go to the Abbey, you will see the coronation chair or throne in which the Queen sat and many other previous monarchs of Great Britain when they were being crowned. 
You will also see Poet's Corner containing memorials to great British writers such as Roger Kipling, Thomas Hardy and the Bronte sisters. John, John. What is this? Messina, miss, waved at a window. Outside the houses of Parliament, near the beginning of our tour. On your right is a typical London pub called the Albert. It's named after Queen Victoria's house. Shown on the front of the building. On your left side now, the St. James Court Hotel, where the inquiry took place into the sinking of the great ship Titanic. Also on your left, Westminster Chapel, where the evangelist Billy Graham features when he comes to Great Britain from the United States of America. On the side of Buckingham Palace, eh? Buckingham Palace. Buckingham. This is the side of it.
Better shot here. Big Ben. I'm is cheap. You know. Get out of the way. Thank <laughs> you. 
He's like, hey, there's a guy with a video camera. Let me do something. Quick, somebody jump in his house. Yeah, okay, Jerry. Wait a minute. Shoot us. Let me check my insurance policy first. As you were. <laughs> Damn it. That was your council chambers, your banqueting hall for the knights and the ladies of the court lived. The floor below that was where your arm retainers, your servants, your beef eaters, they all lived. And on the ground floor, that is where they freely nested in the battlements. The legend says 
If they were to leave here, the tower would collapse. Our monarchy would disappear. A great misfortune would befall the nation. And even more important than that, if you think about it, myself and my colleagues would have a job, wouldn't we? <laughs> We are required by royal warrant on the order of King Charles II to keep six at all times. Yeah. No. No. I said we were required by royal warrant to have a minimum of six at all times, innit? But Raven, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see those flat chains there? The flat post. That is the site of the private chapel. It was there that they carried out the private executions here within the tower. I don't want you to confuse it with the public execution site out on Trinity Green, where on the day of an execution, they would proclaim a holiday. As many as 70 or 80,000 people would turn up. Some in stands which they specially erected for the occasion. There, there were very few spectators. To be quite honest, we had very few executions. Here. Lord Chancellor. Candlestick, that's a candlestick, 1662. <laughs> I don't know how to turn this thing on. Good. Moving on Roy Lawson. Forget There we go, I got it. Too late. All right, Steve. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Rolling. I'm rolling. Are you ready for this? Okay. I'm watching the guy over there. He's just standing. The guard. One of those long-haired weirdo guards with big blue font of black hair. And a red shirt and a red jacket there. Actually, they got short hair underneath. 
Well, no, they have crew cuts because it's too hot. So the short hair weirdos. So the short hair weirdos with long hair weirdo hats. Right. So anyway, so this chick goes back up. Yeah, okay. No, not no. Back up. All right, that's good. <laughs> this chick goes up and she brought her with this uh, metal thing with spikes on it. Guards around him there. And she stepped over it. And she went right up to her. And he went like this. He went, beep, 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 beep. And that's the story. We'd like to leave now. Here we are. The Tower of Could have left an hour ago. We're off to uh, the London Bridge. Had enough region. armor and guns for one day. Thank you. Want to see what I bought for Grandma? Yo, Grandma, I don't show you. Look, Grandma, just what you ordered. <laughs> 95 peas. Don't get any ideas. Hey, ask them what station they're from. Where? Quick, employment opportunities. Mike, get out of the way. I mean, Steve. Steve. What? Move. Jerry's over there. They don't have their logo on the camera, so I don't know. Look at the size of that hairy microphone. It looks like a toque. <laughs> now he's leaving again. Oh, God. Tower uh, Bridge, find something to eat. And then we'll find that museum. Well, where'd Steve go now? Steve just went to the picture he said over there. And then Jerry's over there. I can see him from here. Well, Jerry! Call him. Don't call him. Why not? Walk that way to leave. So, so I'm get just him getting up. his attention so he can stay. Why you can't shift the weight too much? Nice. Well, in five minutes, I'm getting up and walking out. Simple as that. So there. <laughs> get, get a picture of uh, like Andy bending over one of those stones. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> John. I don't want to carry this seriously. It's not my stuff. I'm going to drop it. I'm gonna drop this stuff if you don't take it. Whose is this? What are you complaining about? That's my stuff. Well, I'm gonna drop it. Well, I have. You, if you don't take it, I'm gonna drop I'm it. It's not. Wait a minute. That's Steve's thing too. I'm not carrying people's stuff. Crouch. I don't buy anything. <laughs> I don't buy anything. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the only time you will see Andy Herdman on film or video who's in a bad mood and complaining. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for joining me at the Tower of London and. Uh, now we're off to get some food, maybe the London Dungeon. This is Steve Messina doing his James right. Dennehy impersonation. Right. And um, from there, we will be going to the SW1 for, uh, what is it, free drinks, motor wrestling, and other stuff like that. Okay. Mom and Dad, you weren't listening to that, so tune out. <laughs> what you, would you do? Toro, Toro. No, that's Mexico. Here's the uh, guy who almost killed John before. I wonder how long it takes him to get his hair like that. That's a lot of moves. It's like Aretha Franklin. <laughs> it's Big Angela Beavis after. That's where he keeps his cooler and his beers. It's like the, up in his hat. Like on the Globetrotters cartoon. Remember the guy who used to pull the refrigerator out of there? He's pissed off. Wait, there he is. Uh-oh, he's going to shoot me. Look at this guy. I'm getting the hell out of here. There he comes. Well, see you at McDonald's. I'll see you later. Where are we going now? Here's your chance to ruin my video now. <laughs> Andy, I'm going to be on the BBC. I was, yeah, I just, got, I just ran by. Look at that. Look at that big gherkin he's holding on the stick there. That's, where's Jerry? We lost him again, huh? How do you lose Jerry? Jerry! There he is, ladies and gentlemen. We're leaving the tower. Mike Messina, along with myself, Andy, right. Steve, and with a bunch of little towers. Along with our cameraman John. Now making the exit. Well, you don't let you all Beautiful day. We're having fine weather while we're here, by the way. Fine weather. Abnormally nice weather. No rain, sun, about 75 degrees. Unbelievable weather. We 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 figured that that turtlenecks and and yeah. sweaters would be the order of the day, however we were mistaken. Oh, here we are. I would like to make our second attempt to destroy the BBC's attempt at making a... Uh, the food's been kind of sucky. Hey, wait a minute, I'm getting too close to this guy. The water's been kind of... You getting this on film, Mr. Jonas? Yes. Beautiful panoramic view. London. 
keep rolling. Once you get in, you can walk, you can walk, you can walk. You've been rather silent. Ma, in case you're wondering, me and Michael are really getting along. Really. No fights, no arguments. Wait, there he is now. Treat of the studio. It's your last shot? Uh, I don't know. I thought might be a I'm gonna walk by. Some Messinas? I'm gonna walk by. Getting a family portrait? Go ahead. I'm gonna walk by. Go ahead. Stephen, Stephen Cena and Mike Messina in front of a tower bridge. That's that thing right over there. They're getting their picture taken and they are getting along as Steve so poignantly pointed out. Now what is wrong with this camera? This is a very strange operational device. Ah, oh, that was nice. Come on. That's a symbol of just our harmony on this trip. Who's that? Oh, it's Jerry. Jerry, you guys almost dropped the gloves. We were, we, were about, we were about to joust in the, uh, in the Royal Armory. Jerry, get out of the way, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> Mom, Dad, we're having a time. We really, really wish you were here. We haven't bought any souvenirs yet. We're scratching for money. Are you rolling? Yes. Uh, we need lunch. Lunch, yeah. All right. Lunch yeah. Is and about lunch. Point. This is bullshit, I'm taking my break. You might get a picture of that. Samuel Smith, Smith, Samuel Smith anchor tap, as if you couldn't already tell. And we're going to go to the London Dungeon, but first a stop, with Matt, a stop at Nat West. Did I have these on? No, I had these off. Okay. After Nat West Bank, after we change our American money into uh, London pounds, pounds. pounds sterling, we're going to go to the London Dungeon, where we're going to find out how to torture people. We're going to go back to News 12 and... Uh, practice some of our new learnings. After that, we're going to go home and go to the SW1 nightclub, where I hear we're going to have some mud wrestling and the assorted uh, decadence associated with this vicious, this vicious this, town we live in. This is a piece of This is a piece of Steve's lunch that he didn't like. Steve's banger. Don't eat this anymore. The yellow stuff is mustard, which he apparently believed would change the taste of the food. He didn't. Apparently not so. Well, anyway, we're going to go after hitting the men's room and drown out hit the Nat West Bank and get some of that American cash transferred into pound sterling. The present judgment shall be executed in the Place de la Révolution and printed and displayed throughout the Republic.
probably to be sure. And to be head? Not on Tower Hill with the heads and flukes, but in the privacy of the green within the tower. It was sold in the finest stone of steel, wielded by an executioner who was specially summoned from Santa Maria. My execution was postponed for two days. Did you see what he was doing? He was hitting me over the back of his head? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, listen. <laughs> don't, don't be scared when my glasses on. You look like Buddy Holly. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> my own film. <laughs> no. Where was my camera tonight? Hey, hey, Michael! <laughs> get mad again. I was getting mad. <laughs> <laughs> well, about to go to sleep. It's now, uh, it's 2.06, and, uh, just came back from Piccadilly Circus, running around town. The friggin' circus. Middle-aged man was following us. Some black guy. Marion and Angela. Do not forget Marion and Angela. And and Chris and Andy and what was the, what was the other guy's name? Chris, Andy, and somebody else. Steve. Steve. Who started a riot in the Burger King that we were sitting in. That's right. And the girl with the pink hair who wrote. Uh... That's right, Mom. That's right. And then the hotel which we ransacked. Well, actually, we invaded. Oh my God! You know, we had to relieve ourselves in the streets by some, some I don't know what it was. Then some little punks, little British punks, were like trying to like mug you guys with an imitation gun. Oh, and then the big black guy with the leprosy and the death. <laughs> well, now death is a band, and leprosy is the name of their album. We saw leprosy today at the Toaster Chamber, remember? Okay. Are you filming? Yes, we are. Hello. We're in uh, Notting Hill Gate Station. Uh, we're here because Jerry's... You know, what is that? Notting Hill Gate? Speak up. Oh, I'm sorry. We're here in Notting Hill Gate. And because uh, Jerry uh, lost a very expensive uh, piece he picked up along the way. Hopefully we'll get it back. Andy here is reading the itinerary for the afternoon, which we've had uh, typed out and faxed. What are you reading? Hey, uh, legendary home, Sherlock Holmes, 21B Baker Street. You spent five pounds a piece, but I think it's well worth it, being that this is the authentic home and original residence of Sherlock Holmes. Take this off before I get This is pretty cool, actually. Where's Watson's hat? Yeah. This is the heart. He's the city. He's the city. Oh, this. That's right. With his, uh...
floor and quad zip goes on there too. Check one bin and then we'll go into the pub. We're all gonna go to McDonald's. Well, mine. You see, the problem it? is the man has no self control or self discipline at all. At, at whatsoever. If you would like to go downstairs and he has get a no, pot of noodles, no willpower. With, with sausage. Go, go ahead. No willpower. Power. Nothing. There's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't. There you go. Keeping in mind, yeah, if you would like a chunk of diarrhea quiche, go right down and grab it. <laughs> when do you plan on doing it? As soon as we're all a group. As soon as we see one. As soon as Mike. We haven't seen a McDonald's. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta learn how to say that. I'm still looking for the live bands. The funniest live bands at Leicester Square and Covent Garden at night. Why isn't this embarrassing? You, when you're wrong, no one talks. <laughs> I'm not going to talk neither. So. <laughs> Say hello to my mother and father, Eddie. 
Hello to your mother and father. Right? <laughs> Because they'll be watching us in a couple of weeks. Right. If I we hope. survive. If we get home. Right. If we don't spend all of our money. <laughs> Already did. <laughs> oh, let's do that again. <laughs> Whip pad. Okay. Dog Lamar, dog Lamar. French fan, right? English. Uh, these are all the beers we drank today. Dog Lamar again. <laughs> Coke. There's the one I'm currently drinking. Are you done drinking or what? The dog Lamar. We're going to be late. Don't take me to Domo, right? And those are the beers that those people are drinking. Because it's all not available. You know? We didn't have lunch yet. And we're drinking. There's a camera shop I did not buy my film in. Photo in. in, in and I left America, the photo in, so it's a photo out. Was. Let's see now. <laughs> what happens if you do this? The whole world is up it's a sideways now. Yeah, Whoop. Um, now the two girls we met are now upside down. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Andy's upside down now. <laughs> Hey, what about me? I'm not on this film. Uh, just... well, all right, fine. Every time we look for you, I'll, I'll risk life and limb to put you on Sorry. film. I found my way out of HMV. Yes, this man job, spent all of his money. Spent every every ounce, every pound he had on, on records that you can buy in the United States for half the price. No, 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 no. It's not like that. Oh, I'll get a videotape. I'll get a. Oh, you make sure I know where I'm walking. Let's see now. There we go. I will videotape the place where it's drinking at as I shoot into the sun. Oh, there goes the Viticon. Open all day. Good, we'll stay here. Oh, there's Steve wearing his News 12 scab shirt. This is called the Hog in the Pond. The Hog in the Pound, I'm sorry. Yes. There's Jerry. Jerry, whose mother arranged this entire trip for us. There's some lady who walked in front of me. Excuse yourself next time. Cheers. On the BBC. Whatever the credits. Eight o'clock. No, why don't Nick? Well, we can yeah. meet somewhere. Yeah. Call us and meet us somewhere no, tonight. Why don't we just yeah, say we'll meet at a certain time? All right. Yeah, that would be good. And uh, okay. wait, what, what, we'll see eight o'clock. We want to see Buddy. Uh, till about uh, nine thirty, ten, I think. Like I can see that yeah. voice of a generation. But wait, where are you going to be at ten o'clock? Cold Newcastle. Uh, hey, look. Cold Newcastle. Don't get no better. Get that out of the. Get out of here. You know the place you're gonna go in Russia Square? Because then maybe we'll no, no, yeah. But there's a there's a big cinema over there. Cinema. So, yeah, it's a got the hippodrome. It's a big disco. Yeah. And you walk on and you find the big cinema. And What's he playing? Robin Hood. Robin Hood's playing. So we'll, we'll be we'll be around the cinema. Then. Okay. Here we are at the BBC. We are about to embark on our scheduled tour of the building at 3:30 p.m. Here on the 15th of August, 1991. There are a bunch of men on top of the building painting the world. As instructed by Mr. Michael Messina, I will now videotape him. Right. As we stand outside the rail terminal where we got off, everyone's gone. Wait a minute. There they go. Well,
can, I'll go outside and take some pictures after we leave. Yeah. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Steve, you're in the way, please. That's Barry Manilow and some other chick I recognize. What's CFAX? Oh, um, Close caption? Yeah. Public Then they got tilt. Operation. Have you seen any of it yet? Yes. We watch it on, on the television at the hotel. The morning show is a good time. But have you seen anything while you've been here? Or have you just arrived at the centre? No, we're just in the way. Just arrived right here. Yes. Yeah. Right, oh, yes. Okay, my, my part in this... Ah, um... oh, oh, Mr. Hignett, I'm hello. So, uh, sorry, I'm a few minutes oh. late. <laughs> no, no, no. Hi. I'm just doing my intro because I also am, am, am late. Mm. Uh, then we have to vacate the building no, no, before I pour out the tea. No, no, please pour out the tea. It's not, it's not us. It's, it's the next building. Yes, uh, I won't try and catch all your names. It would okay. be a, yeah. a, a, a faultless, uh, futile ex exercise. But you should know Bob Hignett, How my colleague, who, who, who is going to show Welcome. you round. Um, and uh, perhaps I, I ought to join in some of the show round because there are so many of you. The only problem is, is I'm, I'm running rather late, so I, I may not have much time to spare for you. But, ten years ago, uh, and that's proved very good. I, I mean, what are you using? Are you using EPL or Vinton? Presumably it's one of those. Right Neither. Now, no. Right now we're still manual. Oh really? You haven't, yes. got, you haven't gone to remote cameras? No. no. Although we, I think we've worked in studios elsewhere that have had robotic cameras. We've seen... We've seen some interesting accidents happen. Right? <laughs> Camera slamming into walls and things like that. <laughs> yes, the, the, the Vinton um, demonstration at IBC last year involved an XY PED, and they had it programmed to do things. And, mm -hmm. and the culmination was the XY PED drove smartly into one of the fixed PEDs and knocked it over. <laughs> and, you know, yeah, these things happen. But I, I, I think they'll come. I'm not convinced that XY PEDs have got any sp any space, literally any space, in a small studio. I don't see the point of XY PEDs in a new studio, frankly. Um, and so we're not planning on, on trying that at the moment. Uh, but we, we are completely committed to non everything else except the PED driving around the floor. Mm -hmm. okay. that, that strikes me as being fairly silly. In the, in the tour, and the transmission area is actually robotic. It happens to involve people, but, but the whole point is you've got four VT machines, a vision mixer, and a sound mixer, and six lines up to the gallery. The, gal the studio gallery, gallery, who's gallery? I can't remember. Gallery. Production suite. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, two nations, yeah. was it two nations separated by a common language? Was yeah. the word, wasn't it? <laughs> exactly. Yes. Um, but it, but if you'd like to have a look at British fire engines, there are <laughs> a good collection there. It was a standard procedure. If, if a building of this size has got 6,000 people in it, uh, the fire alarm goes off, they send for all the clients. Anyway. reception? No, I'm all right. right. Um, yeah, it's just all easiest all way. Oh, right. Yeah. Thank you for walking out. It'll be much cooler when we go down the... Uh, mm -hmm. Take, 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 take,
Why don't you do the first gentleman? I, 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 I won't take you in the logical sort of transmission order of things. I'll, I'll take you on the shortest route that I can devise, um, which is yeah. one, yeah. one four up. You, 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 Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. 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 I know I have. I end of our tour at the BBC. Everything preceding this announcement was censored. Jerry the Big Cheesehead was inviting the man who gave us the tour to come back to visit us at our studios. <laughs> and we all know why that might be a problem. <laughs> Michael, uh, I'd like to see those t-shirts. Oh, you know, I hate to do this to you. I know you guys want to Is there a gift shop? Do you like to buy like a BBC television show or something? It's close oh, now. Okay. Well, there is one behind the section. We will write. We will write. Oh, yeah, look. No, we'll write. We got it. They are sometimes right. Oh, time to go. Well, <laughs> oh, guys, what do you think? Make sure you come and see That's it. That's a real thing. We'll be there. <laughs> and the tour will only take about 15 minutes. Yeah, we got one room. Three rooms. Did you get that fancy room, statue? The control room yeah, yeah. and the studio. And you've seen it all. In the hey, you're gonna get us arrested. Oh my! You still tape? You taping in there? I tried to get something until she grabbed my arm, nearly broke it. Well, that was way in the beginning. She said, Sorry, she was allowed. At first, she was really nice. Awesome. You know, she was pushing to finish it at five o'clock. Yeah. Well, he's there till twelve. The, the, yeah, so the so more he's with us, the less he has to do, and that's in that. She just wants to go home. She could have. You know who he reminded me of? Jeff Smith. You know the cooking guy who always watched? Oh, yeah. The frugal gourmet? Yeah. That's who that was. Sunday's cheap. Well, I'll have to put it to the the first one. The bus axe. Oh, the Heathrow Airport. No, five. Heathrow Poncho Heathrow.
can eat, Steve? Breakfast time, Steve. Get up. It's not a laundromat. It's a bar. Hey, you runks.
How much, Sean? Oh, 36 pounds. About $60. How much? How do you think I'm going to put this up in the feces? 42 pounds. I think they're dead. No, they're breathing. What are you guys? Are dogs, foxes, Republicans? This means the church. Milan. He's mad now.
for the host boys. Okay. Most beautiful piano I saw, Mike. Look at this thing. Wellmar. It's beautiful, isn't it? It says to pull out. How much is it? It's, uh, I think, 1,400 pounds. Big, I'm like the German one. Got it. 
we found it, we people had left their table, so we took it. Oh, look at that. Shot team up. What? Cold beef. Exploration day right now. Thank you very much. <laughs> now who gave me what? Don't worry, you keep it. We're going. I'll give you a pop. Welcome to the, uh, what's your name, please? Graven House. Graven House. Yes, house. In Edinburgh, Scotland. Oi! Oi! Fuck her up! You fucking brat! Jerry, I'm crushing on a videotape. Yeah, but it was in Scottish, no one has to know what I said. I'm gonna have to edit that out. Oh, wait, I'll show them the view. Oh, you did that. I'll be with you. Oh, you did that already? Alright, the hell with it. Alright, Mike. Show them what you were trying to do before with the bed. Try. This bed is on me. Careful. No, man. No, man. <laughs> okay, my turn. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Wait, this is not wrong with it. This is busted. That's where I gotta sleep. It's bust. I'm gonna go outside and look at the pretty flowers. Walk by water, take some pictures. <laughs> Don't forget, you owe me four pounds. This is easily the nicest place we've stayed so far. Look at it. Nice view of the water. What oh, is this? The North Sea or something? It's the fifth of Earth. Something like that. This is our house now. H237 RMS. The dollar van. Okay. Now, we're going to take a three hour trip to. Uh, where are we going? Going to Glasgow? We're going to Edinburgh today. Okay. Alright. Now I'm going to produce the rest of my stuff. Here comes the rest of the troops. Go on a trip.
so that means that John, I owe you 12 pounds and Steve doesn't owe you anything. Right, but put the five dollars. He doesn't owe me anything. Today is, today is uh, Sunday. The heels have ten. Eighteen. Eighteen. Oh, it's oh, eight. 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 E
three or four seconds of video of the crown and then the guy came over. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
Basically, A9, A9. cross forward boot, right. straight on all the way up. It's a good roll. Oh, oh wow. Three hours. Right. Is that by Lochness? So. Three hours. Is, is Inverness near Lochness? Oh, well, then we don't have to, like, rush it. Well, we're leaving Edinburgh Castle. And we're heading up to Inverness and Lochness now after we figure out some way to get some money, being that most of us have absolutely nothing left. Using an ice machine will cause us tremendous amounts of service charges. Exchange places are closed, and Genius has spent his last penny buying the last postcard in the country. Well, until we find out where we're eating and getting some money, this is the fellow poor person saying, save your money to get home first. Yell!
Much better. Can't go inside? Yeah, I don't know if you can, but. I'm only observe. Uh oh. I got like a million good pictures. We're here on Colton Hill. Don't get the rock you. Uh, okay. You know what you do? You go over there and you get everything. You get that, 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 that and the castle all in the same shot. What's on the other side? Get it, get it. A wall? Get it back. Why don't you come up and find out? <laughs> You can use your cane to get up. Yeah, Abel. I mean, cane. As I walk off the side of this thing and impale myself on a tree. Loose in the hoose. Michael, you will carry this back. Pretty much straight ahead of us, down by the water, was where our hotel was. Yes, because there's the brewery. There's a big hump of mountain out there. We're in there. Pretty much. You can see there's the stadium. Towers in the distance. That's either a power station or a brewery. We are directly to your right on the inlet where the water meets the land. And that's where Mike and I were standing last night while I called mom and dad on the cordless phone or the cell phone. And if you look through that tree and over the water, you can see Norway and North Germany. That's the bridge where uh, we started out train pulled in under that bridge. Water, Waterloo Bridge. Waterloo Bridge, and that's where myself and Steve, Miss, uh, Steve Rizza stood in the rain waiting for uh, Andy, our chauffeur, to, to arrive with our van. Andrew! Oh, go ahead. Just go ahead. Andy, what were you giving a lecture? Yep. 
He's yeah. like, no, 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 you're doing it all wrong. The guy had to keep me after school. He didn't get the attention. Okay. Anyway, like, guess what? I'm going to have to work.